Nanaki, you wanna open the box with us? Hi everyone, I just purchased a DVD home theater system from Sony and the model number is DAV-DZ170. I have no idea why they come up with these model numbers. It would be so much easier to associate it with some sort of a keyword like Echo Sound Blaster 2000 than DAVZ whatever. Some of the highlights is that it has 1000 watts of sound power. It also plays multiple CD and DVD formats. It has Dolby and DTS sound codecs. It auto calibrates with to room acoustics. It rips CDs to USB drives. You can plug in an iPod and an iPhone through the USB. And of course, it can sync with Bravia models. So, there's an easy setup disc on top, along with a quick setup guide. This is not as light as the bamboo tablet. Okay, nice wrap. Actually, I didn't even check the color this was going to be. Silver, right? Black, okay. Got to be very careful opening these things. These are... Wow, really nice. I don't know. Looks like a glossy plastic and flat metal on the top. Subwoofer, there's yeah, it's the soap. so subwoofer, everything's neatly packed. Wires for the speakers, remote control, two batteries, Sony batteries, and some more wires. I don't know what this little white thing the antenna is. Antenna for the radio. Okay, my brother says it's the antenna for the radio. We can believe him. And more manuals. And everybody knows I love reading. Where's that knife? Hanaki. Gonna kill you. I should have a thing that pulls me instead of putting it. Oh my god. No, just the Oh, the speakers are pretty small, but I don't know why. That's really nice. Blue, that means something. I'm not gonna unlabel them. When you I mean, open unwrap these, wrap these. them. You just yank these. I need the oh, I know, but I didn't want to open that. But anyways, so center. Those are the rears. Then they have different colors: black, transparent, blue, and red. I'm sure that we're gonna have to puzzle our minds over it. And that's it. Doesn't bring much more than that. Okay, the subwoofer, as you can see, looks pretty sleek. Very flat surface, and I like that this is metal and not um, fabric, because fabric usually tends to get ruined or dirty much quicker. The speakers, this is the front speakers, it's the same thing. This is metal, and over here everything is smooth. The center speaker Everything is pretty much very nice. It actually reminds me of the first PlayStation. The texture of the piano, black. And the back speakers are just like the front speakers. As you can see. And they're pretty, very light. Um, this was a little bit too big. If you can see, it didn't fit in. I have like almost an entire finger worth that this did not fit in. If you can, I don't know if you can see. I'm trying to like squeeze this in, maybe from this side. No, oh, I can't see anything. Well, actually, you can see. This is how much more it is out. This is how out it is compared to, but if you look, it's really nice. Can't complain. Well done, Sony. It has a USB port. Uh, 
DVD home theater system, blah, blah, blah. So it has a DVD port, the master volume. It has the audio in, a mic, function button, play, stop, eject, and the power is all the way on this other side. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Anyways, the installation was pretty basic. I think the hardest thing was to pull the wires through behind uh, our entertainment system because it's stuck on the wall. But other than that, if I didn't... Yes, Nanaki, I'll, I'll get you in in a second. My cat, he just misses me so much. I know, I miss myself too sometimes. But anyways, um, getting back to it, I think that um, it was so easy. I mean, everything's color coordinated. You just plug things back in. Um, you could have plugged in your PlayStation or whatever directly to the um, DVD home theater. I was annoyed. It does not have video in. It only has um, the regular video output out. It has HDMI out. It has nothing in, in terms of video. It does have sound in, which luckily that saved my life since I have HDMI going from both Xbox and cable box to the TV. And then from the TV, I have the sound coming back in a much lower quality with a just left and right wires, which I can't remember the names right now. Um, still, the sound was pretty good, pretty wholesome. And, um, I don't think I can complain, but until I watch videos and probably, um, I don't know, use it more, I won't be able to give a better review. But I'll put some annotations as time passes in case anybody else is interested. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you found this helpful at all, um, don't forget to like or share with your friends and even favorite because, you know, you know, you want to look at the space every day or not. <laughs>